is up everyone I'm Jessica today I am going to be taking down a fan in my room and putting up a new fan which is this one right here I don't know if you guys can really see it but it's called Gossamer and I got it from Home Depot it has ABS sculpted wing blades whisper silence energy efficient DC motor full function remote control dimmable and white selectable LED. So that's cool and I'm excited because it's a black fan and the one that I have in my room is a brown fan and this one's just gonna match my room a little better. That's why I'm excited about it and I'm excited for the different options for the light. I get tired of yellow lights so it'll be cool to have the option to change the color of the lighting in my room. My dad is actually going to help me take down my old fan and put up this new one and I'm going to show you what the old fan looks like right now. Here's a fan that's going to be taken down and this one actually just has the yellow lights. It doesn't have any other like options. So like I said before I'm like excited for the other options on the newer fan. So now that you've seen the fan, I'm just going to set up the camera in a spot where you can kind of see us taking it down and then putting the new one up and it's probably going to be time lapsed. So I hope you don't mind that. I'm excited to put up this new fan. There's the fan. Here's the rest of the fan. And then we put the screws that go with the fan in a baggie. That way we don't lose them. So we're just unboxing the new one now. This is the bracket for the base. Here's the extension. It goes onto the base. And then, obviously, this goes on to the extension as the mortar blade. And these are like uh, just the covers. Oh, here's the light. This is the light. Simple little light thing. The remote. The one thing I do know about. The remote wiring. <laughs> good. The thing he's putting up right now is called the base bracket and it didn't have the screws in our box so if you have a fan it, that you took down already like i just did keep the screws for that base bracket just in case they're not included in the box we're trying to assemble the blades to the fan motor Finally done putting up the new fan. It looks really good, it matches really good. Now I'm just gonna show you the settings on the remote, which I also put on the wall right here. And I like it a whole lot better than the other remote that I had. I didn't really show it, but 
it was a lot bulkier. I'm gonna turn the camera around, that way you guys can see the different settings. All right, so this is actually the daylight setting and it also dims and gets brighter. Right now it's at the brightest that it can be, but I can show you what it looks like dim. So that's as dark as it gets, and then I'm just gonna show like my room, that way you can see how dark it is. Here's what it looks like bright in my room. For the daylight one, and then it has a yellow light setting, which I'm not gonna use because I'm not a fan of the yellow light thing anymore. I just don't wanna use it. And then this is kind of like an in-between. I don't know what this setting is called actually. I forgot, but here's what that looks like. Which this one isn't bad either. I would use this one, but I think I'm just gonna stick with the daylight for now because that was like the most exciting aspect to it for me. So that was this part of the remote. So this part is actually the fan and it has six levels. One goes pretty fast actually. Six is the fastest it can go, so that's pretty cool. I think it was pretty fast though on these other numbers as well. I'm gonna show you the fan setting. So I just turned it on. And I believe it's set at one. All right, so I actually put it at six. So I actually turned the fan off because I don't really need it on right now, but I had a lot of fun putting this fan together. It's the first time I had ever put a fan together, including with my dad because I had never put a fan together. I'd never taken a fan apart, so it was just like a whole day of learning for me and a new experience. And I'm glad I got to take you along. I will have the new fan that I got linked down below. I don't think it was too hard to build. It could be hard, especially if you're someone like me who has never done that before but the instruction manual really did help a lot. So if you're thinking of just like putting it together yourself, I would say definitely look at the instruction manual just in case because we did make a lot of mistakes along the way and the manual just came in clutch. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like and if you're new, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell. I would love to have you here on my channel and I will see you in the next one.